Hello, welcome to video number 77. In this video, we're going to use sum tables to help us do some factorings. Sum tables are a powerful tool to help us find the right two numbers to complete the factoring. We're going to do four quick examples, and then I have two problems for you. All right, here's the first two examples. We want to factor these monic trinomials. Remember, monic means that the leading coefficient is 1. It's the number multiplying x squared. All right, so the secret to factoring a monic uh, trinomial is to find two numbers whose sum is the coefficient of x, so whose sum is 68 in this case, and whose product is this number, the constant, 1,107. Uh, uh, so what we do is we start with by dividing the, the sum in half. So half of 68 is 34. So we have 34 and 34. 34 times 34 is 1,156, okay? That's the largest product we can get for two numbers that multiply to uh, or add to 68. Now, we're going to make one of these go down, 33, and the other one go up. So I subtracted one here, and I added one there, and we got 33 and 35. 33 times 35 doesn't change very much. It's 1,155. So I'm still kind of far, so I'm going to skip a couple. Let's try uh, 30. So I made this go down by 3, and this column will go up by 3. So as long as I subtract and add, they end up still uh, summing to 68. 30 times 38, let's see what that is. That's 1,140. Now, the further I go, the faster this changes. So it doesn't change very much at first, but then it starts to change a lot. So uh, let me see. I'll go down by 2. Let me try this. 28, and then go up by 2, and 40. 28 times 40 is 1,120. We're getting very close. And so let me try 27 and 41. Uh, 27 times 41 is 1107. So we need a calculator and do a lot of quick multiplications, but actually people get pretty quick at this. Pretty good. So those are the two numbers that work to factor this. So I can factor this as x plus 27 times x plus 41. Okay, let's try this one. So we need the sum to be 25 and the product to be 126. 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. That's a decimal. So we round one down, 12, and round the other one up. 12 plus 13 is 25. And when I do 12 times 13, I get 156. Okay, so I start going down on this one, and I make this one go up. 11 times 14 is 154. I'm going to skip a couple. We're not that far away, so I'll try skipping uh, three. So go down three, this would be eight. Go up three, this would be 17. So eight times 17 is 136. Getting very close. Let me try one more. I'll go down one seven. I'll go up one 18. And that does it. That's 126. Okay, so this part's the easy part. X plus 7 times X plus 18 would work. So if we multiply that out, sure enough, we get X squared plus 25X plus 126. We're halfway done. Okay, so I want to include some where we start with negative numbers. Okay, so people are a little bit more uneasy about that, but we really kind of do the same thing. Looking for two numbers whose sum is negative 16, whose product is negative uh, 297. So negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8 and negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 8 is 64. Then we're going to make one go down and the other one go up. Going down means more negative, so that'd be negative 9. Going up means less negative. That's 63. We're a long way away. I'm going to skip uh, 5. So if I go down 5, this would be negative 14. If I go up 5, this would be negative 2. It's 28. We're still a long way, so I'm going to skip five more. This would be negative 19, and negative 2 plus 5 would be 3, and that's negative 57. Still a long way, so I'm going to skip five, keep going five for a little while. 
So this would be negative 24, and this would be 8. So negative 24 times 8 is negative 192. We're getting somewhere. Uh, let me try 2. So negative 26 and 10 is negative 260. All right, we're actually kind of getting very close here. Let me try negative 27 and 11. And we hit it. That's negative 297. So I had to skip a bunch. It was a long way from where I started, but when I started skipping fives, I got there fairly quickly. So negative 27 and 11 are our numbers. So this is going to be, that's a parentheses, x minus 27 times x plus 11. That'll do it. Our last example. So this is negative and odd. So negative 35 divided by 2 is negative 17.5. So we're going to make one negative 18 and the other one negative 17. Negative 18 times negative 17 is 306. Oh, actually, we're pretty close already. This is not going to take long, so I'm going to go carefully. Make this go down and this go up. So negative 19 times negative 16 is 304. Uh, negative 20 and negative 15, uh, that's 300. Very, very close. So I'm going slowly, negative 21 and negative 14. I think that'll do it. Yep, there we go, 294. Okay, so those are the solutions. So I can write this as x minus 21 times x minus 14. Very good. So these just four examples, but I included kind of different things that could come up. Sometimes they're odd numbers, sometimes they're negative numbers, sometimes they're negative odd numbers. But a little bit of practice, you can get this to work for you and actually be pretty quick about it. All right, that's very powerful. All right, here are the two for you. So factor the following trinomials. Please show your work. You don't have to go one by one, but remember you can skip a few if we're kind of far. For instance, number two, I think when you start off, you're going to be a long way from minus 228. So remember, skip a few rows and, uh, until you get kind of closer. Then, then start going one by one until you get there. All right, good luck.